The individual settings page for an IP camera allows you to view and control a number of important settings. You can reach the camera settings page a number of ways. From the live page, you may right-click a camera in the panel and select Properties from the pop-up menu. Then press OK to be taken to that camera settings page. You may also go into Configuration Settings and select the camera name from the configuration tree on the left. As a reminder, the IP cameras of each system may be found nested under Configure System, then Add IP Cameras, and finally Camera Recording. On ExactVision hybrid systems, analog cameras will be found listed in the configuration tree under the name of the video card in the system. Beginning in the top right next to the live camera image, the IP camera settings page allows you to view important information about that camera along with links to other administrative functions. If multi-streaming is available on the camera, it can be configured from this page as well by using the Add Stream function. Additional streams will be nested under the parent camera name in the configuration tree on the left. To remove an added stream, select it in the configuration tree and then select the Delete Stream button. Adding additional streams may consume additional disk space depending on your record settings. Each IP camera will have a number of settings tabs to choose from, including Display, Video, Recording, Motion, Suspect Tracking, Digital PTZ Fisheye, Schedule, Advanced, and Restricted View. An additional tab titled Mechanical PTZ will appear for supported cameras with motorized pan, tilt, zoom features. The settings available on each tab can vary greatly among camera manufacturers and models. Some IP camera settings that are not available through the ExactVision software can be accessed through the camera's web page. The Display tab allows you to change the camera name as well as choose to hide or display a variety of information about the camera using the on-screen display settings. Users can change the font, color, size, position, and color and opacity of the background for the OSD to suit their needs. If the font selected does not exist on another user's interface, a substitute will automatically be chosen on that system. Select the Apply button at the bottom to save any changes made. To use the same settings for several other cameras on the same server, use the Apply To button at the bottom. Select the cameras from the pop-up list and then choose the Apply button. Finally, this tab features a metadata field in which users can opt to add additional information on each device to help locate and manage their cameras within the ExactVision software. Depending on the camera, there are many settings which may be changed from the Video tab, such as Brightness, Contrast, Saturation, Mirror Image, Camera Rotation, Wide Dynamic Range, and more. A video mask hides an area of the video in live and recorded video. Use the Edit button and draw a box over the area you wish to conceal and click Apply. A gray box will be seen in the live video panel obscuring viewers from seeing sensitive or restricted parts of the scene. The Crop Window feature allows you to crop the viewable and recorded image on a compatible camera. Other settings not seen here or grayed out may need to be administered from the camera's browser interface. The Recording tab allows you to quickly turn recording on or off for an individual camera. You can also set various recording settings such as the video format, resolution, image rate, and bit rate settings as allowed by the camera. Note that the area next to the live video image also has information on resolution and image rate. If these are displayed as live links, you can click on them to be taken to the camera recordings page where you can view and administer all the cameras from a single page. The motion tab allows you to change the amount of time that a camera records pre and post motion video. You can also configure motion windows or masks from this tab. Whether you create a motion window versus a motion mask depends on the abilities of the camera. A motion window is a designated area in which a camera will look for motion while a motion mask is a designated area in which the camera will ignore motion. Some cameras support multiple motion windows or masks. In the case of multiple motion regions, these are indicated by a numbered list. Motion settings are often highly configurable and may include features that must be administered through the camera's web interface. For more details on your specific cameras, please refer to the camera manufacturer's documentation. The Suspect Tracking tab allows users to configure clickable links over your live video image. These links are configured to take the viewer to another camera. 
This allows the viewer to easily track a subject or object as they move between each camera's field of view. In a live window, cameras with the suspect tracking feature display an icon to toggle the colored link overlays. To configure a suspect tracking link, click the New button and draw a box on the live image. Choose the colors and opacity of the overlay and use the Select Camera pop-up window to choose which camera view this link will take the viewer to. Click Apply when done. The Generate from Map button uses an algorithm to attempt to create the appropriate suspect tracking links for you based on camera positions on system maps you may have created. Refer to the user manual or other videos on configuring maps. If you are using a motorized PTZ camera, you can administer some of the control settings from the mechanical PTZ tab. This may include communication port settings with the camera, PTZ patterns, as well as PTZ presets. The Presets tab allows you to view or manage preset positions of a PTZ camera. You can position the camera using the directional buttons to the side or with an Exact Vision surveillance keyboard. To create a preset, click the New button, move the camera to the position you want to save, give it a name, and click Apply. Presets can be activated from the live screen by right-clicking on the camera and selecting the preset from the list or by using the Exact Vision Surveillance Keyboard. Several presets may also be combined into a PTZ tour to cycle through your list of presets. To create a tour, select a preset and choose the Add button to move it to the Tour List window. Modify the resume and dwell times as desired and click Apply. To activate the tour, select the Enable checkbox. The Digital PTZ Fisheye tab enables you to set up the digital PTZ features with panoramic or fisheye functionality on compatible cameras. You can turn the digital PTZ settings on or off and create presets in the same way you would with a mechanical PTZ camera. Note that when using digital PTZ, you're always recording the entire image of the camera, and that digital PTZ, when enabled, can be used on live or recorded video. If the video is being de-warped in the client instead of the camera, the entire video image will be available in live and recorded mode with complete movement functionality. The Schedule tab allows you to create a recording schedule specifically for the selected camera. The Schedule tab includes additional features for creating a schedule for all cameras on the server. When hovering the cursor over a square, note the details displayed in the Information section. In the grid, Click and drag to highlight the boxes that correspond to each hour you want to schedule. Select the appropriate setting button to determine if video should always be recorded from this camera, free run, or only when motion or alarm event occur. To configure time-lapse recording, select the number of images you want to record every second or minute, then click Set. Click Apply to save the changes made to the schedule of this camera. You may also select Apply To to enable the schedule on multiple cameras on this server. You may also create complete recording schedules for an entire server from the schedule page, which will be covered in another video. Supported cameras configured to provide analytics data to Exact will also provide an additional analytics tab. Using this tab, users may configure the appearance of the analytic bounding box overlays as they will appear in live viewing. The Advanced tab contains settings for additional camera features that do not pertain to the other tabs when using a camera that supports those features. Finally, the Restricted View tab allows you to specify one or more areas in the video to be obscured from view, much like a video mask. However, this may be unobscured by another user with a chosen password. To create a Restricted View area, click the New button and draw a rectangle over the region in the video you intend to conceal. Configure the color and opacity settings as desired. An optional display message to a user may be entered. Finally, enter a password to protect this area from view and click Apply. Note that when exporting video with restricted areas, only EXE and PSX file types are supported.